Good morning from the 13th park of our Europe road trip. Today we're back here at Europa Park in Germany. I adore this park. It is fantastic. The theming and level of detail is brilliant. Now, of course, we are annual pass holders and we wanted to come during the three different seasons this year. We started off with a Christmas visit at the end of last year. We came over summer and now we're here for the spooky season. It's Halloween. I can't wait to see all the pumpkins. Oh, yeah, you've never seen it this time of year before. No, I'm not, so I can't wait. We also checked out the horror event, Traumatica, which is located still here at Europa Park but a separate ticketed event, and that was the previous vlog to this one. So make sure you check it out. Today it's about getting back on the rise. It's family Halloween, it's pumpkins, it's decorations, it's entertainment, and we're really looking forward to it. And the spooky music is playing throughout the park. And yeah, look at the fountains just over here. I love how they've got the mummies all wrapped up there. They have a lot of Halloween theming here at this park, and we're gonna show you all that across the next couple of days. Yeah, we're gonna be filming two vlogs. We only did one when we came in the summer, so we thought we'll film two vlogs, give you all the latest updates. We'll check out the construction of Voltron. That's progressed a lot since last time we were here, that new roller coaster for 2024. And yeah, I didn't really mention this, but I love this light fixture just here. You know me, I love lighting. How nice is that? Massive. It looks quite spooky as well for this time of year. And as soon as you come into the park just here, you are greeted by all of these Halloween decorations. Look at the size of some of these pumpkins, Charlotte. I have never seen a pumpkin that big before. <laughs> We've seen some big wow. ones throughout this trip, but yeah, these ones here are massive. Oh, I still like the shape of these ones. Look at them beauties, I can bear to my hand just there. Oh, that one's huge. I bet you struggle to even pick these up. I mean, look at these. We need to grow some like this back home, Charlotte. They are huge. <laughs> and what I like with the displays, you've got like all the hay bales around as well. Well, they put these nice little floral displays around, which really does make it. You've got the balloons in the trees, you've got the bats, they turn the lights into pumpkin men, as you can see just there. And the music is very creepy as we make our way here into Europa Park today. And you've also got lots of fantastic Halloween photo opportunities throughout the park. So there's this nice boat just here. And yeah, I actually like how they change and paint the sign. You're right there. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, they change and paint the sign each year, which is good. And yeah, here we go. You've got these skeleton friends in here. These are lovely. What's going on with his hair just over there? Too short. <laughs> he needs a brush, I think. But yeah, I do like how they just print these out for the spooky season. Oh, we've been greeted by this witch as we walk in today. Is that a pretzel on her as well? Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the pumpkins everywhere. Like, it's been a few years since I've seen Halloween here. But yeah, I'd forgotten just how many pumpkins. I think they say there's over 50,000 throughout the park. Look at these white ones there. And yeah, we've seen all sorts of variety of pumpkins throughout our trip. I'm actually gonna start here in the Italian themed area as it's Halloween with a ride on Geisterslos, the ghost castle just here. <laughs> chandelier beautiful throughout the stretching room let's head into the ghost castle Well, 
we still an awesome ride there to start our day on Geyser Sloss. There's some really dark scenes in there, like some really creepy stuff going on, isn't there? Yeah, it is very strange, but I love it. <laughs> it's quite full on in there, um, but I do really like it. There's just stuff going on absolutely everywhere. You can tell it's one of the older Europa Park dark rides, but it has got that classic charm about it that I do really like. And you have a Halloween, they put a few little bits around, uh, make it a little bit different too. And talking of Halloween, look at this variety of pumpkins there. Right, we've got this one, we've got the grey ones just down here, the green ones, like, they're amazing, like, there's so many pumpkins. And just around the corner and here into France now, and yeah, another part of the light is putting all the corn up as well. It's a very European park thing this, I love this back home, you know, just putting up all the corn on lampposts, yeah, it just looks really nice. And yeah, here in France we've got Eurosat Can Can Coaster just over here, the park's indoor roller coaster. And yeah, back in the day, you may remember, they actually used to turn Eurosat into a giant pumpkin. I do miss those days. Uh, they haven't done it since they did the kind of re-theme into Can Can Coaster. It never used to have all these facades out the front, so it probably wouldn't have the same effect now. But at night, they do light it up kind of an orangey red, so it looks spooky. But yeah, I do miss the days of it being a big pumpkin at Halloween. show oh such a good ride that brilliant indoor roller coaster so the ride starts off with a big spiral lift hill that takes you right up to the top of the big ball and then you do various different drops and turns fantastic indoor coaster videos do not do that ride justice i love it it's a great coaster yeah and along with that you've also got all the theming throughout all like uv painted um, which does look really good now when it first opened didn't look the best however they did a lot more detailing on them and yeah it's one of our favorites in the park we've always loved indoor coasters more halloween decorations here in the Switzerland themed area. <laughs> All sorts of random things. That's the thing with Halloween here. You're like different stages throughout the park. Here you got like balloons and ghosts and all your pumpkins down here at the side. So much smaller ones than we saw earlier on. But yeah, it literally feels like Halloween everywhere where you walk around the park. Opportunity just here as well. Big pumpkins, these are similar to the ones that we get back at the UK parks, but yeah, it's a bit more creepy looking, I'd say, this one. Got a bit more detail in painted on it, but uh, yeah, really great photo lot. <laughs> Hey, there goes the train, and oh, I love these. They're like a skeleton's hand coming out of the ground holding a pumpkin. That's quite quirky. Oh, we've got the Grim Reaper now just over here. <laughs> There's another photo up around in the park, and we're gonna make our way now. Over onto Euromir. Now, you know me, I love the soundtrack for this ride. However, at Halloween, it does change to different music. So you're not going to get a big green trap by Mac, unfortunately, today. However, yeah, the music used on here used to play on the pumpkin coaster. So yeah, like I say, Eurosat used to be transformed into a pumpkin that played this song, what's now on here, um, inside there. But yeah, I really do like this coaster. We'll also get some really good views looking out over the Voltron construction site, the new roller coaster opening here in 2024. Really looking forward to that. <laughs> here we go. So this is a Mac Ride spinning coaster. All the model now, but again, it starts off with a spiral lift all the way to the top. And yeah, when we get up there, we'll get some awesome views of Ultron. Let's go. 
rocket in the lift now. But yeah, this is a replacement soundtrack for Halloween. It's quite repetitive, but it is quite catchy too. It's like, it's Halloween, it's Halloween! <laughs> and outside we go! Hey, there she is. Oh, look at that. Wow, lots of theming and landscaping work taking place now. That new coaster, hey! The first ever Mack Ride Striker coaster. And yeah, it goes all the way down there. It is humongous. Yeah, it looks like they're doing pathways underneath now. All the trees and landscaping. Yeah, it's going to form part of the new Croatia themed area for next year. There's another view. Wow. Looks like there's a delivery on the site today, actually. Weekday, lots of work going on. Expected to open for the start of next season. And yeah, really excited for it. Voltron. Right down here at the back, on the mirror. Great view, it's a bit colder again today. This past week it's been a bit warmer. It's chilly at the start of the trip. Uh, it's been a bit warmer, but yeah, actually it's a bit cooler today. There's uh, Wodan and Blue Fire, Atlantica. There we go, you ready? Whee. Woo! Oh! Oh, it's got some kick to it. Spin me right round, baby, right round. Whee. I'm a big fan of the Oromir. Oh, another great view. Look at that. I thought we'll sit at the back. Oh! <laughs> Voltron. Oh, get me pumped. Big year next year. Whee! Really intense as you come backwards now. Into the backwards helix. Helix. <laughs> Massive helix. Oh! All the rocks. Oh, blimey. Woo! Oh, it's very forceful. Brakes are going to get sharp any second. Oh, God. It comes to a sudden stop. <laughs> I do love it, though. We waited about 20 minutes there for our ride on Euromir. I do really enjoy that spinning coaster. And we were treated with some awesome views over Voltron as well. It's a very forceful coaster, that is. But I do miss the soundtrack. Oh, yeah, I do like the original music on there. However, I do like also how they changed up for Halloween because you come here during the different seasons, summer, Halloween, Christmas, and the whole park feels like a very different experience. We love this music playing around the park. Monsters are dancing, dancing in the park. park. Hey, we've got the Halloween parade to enjoy. We've got the ice show we're going to be seeing at some point over the next couple of days. And more decorations, look at this. Yeah, monsters are dancing in the park. It's a great song. And yeah, look at this tower. All the pumpkins there at the bottom and all the different ones going up, including the yellow pumpkins. Very nice. Yeah, with Europa Park, so many rides for everyone. It really is a family park. It's not just for thrill seekers at all. Full family park, lots of rides for everyone to enjoy. Yeah, they've got all the red and black roofs over there for Halloween. There's just so much going on around the park. We're making our way now into our favorite dark ride here at the park, and that is Pirates in Batavia. Beautiful attraction this is, 25 minute wait. Yeah, quite busy today. Of course, it is the Halloween season. Brings everybody out to come and see the spooky goings on here in the park. Oh, it's so nice and warm in here. On a cooler day here in Rus, Germany. The details in this queue line are amazing. This is not going to be an easy voyage, my friends. There will be storms.
An awesome ride there on Pirates and Batavia. The detailed set design in there is gorgeous. And along with that too, you've got the mix of animatronics, you've got projections, and it just all comes together in a really nice overall experience. It's the soundtrack and the fact there's so much going on when you go into those different scenes, the sounds coming from everywhere, there's music, uh, there's stuff to look at throughout. It's a gorgeous dark ride. It's got such a nostalgic charm about it. Obviously it was rebuilt in 2020 after the original version sadly burned down and they brought it back very different but also it kept that classic charm mixed in uh, with new elements too. Yeah, really do like Pirates. And yeah, of course, Halloween continues here at Europa Park. Look at these. So many different ones. These are like cooking a pumpkin. <laughs> then you've got one over there. He's like on a barrel. There's just so many of them. Yeah, all the sweet corn men. Oh, we got this one who's being pulled along by the donkey just there. There's <laughs> more yellow pumpkins as well. Oh, sadly, these sweet corn look like they're having a bit of an argument just over here. Maybe they're fighting over that pumpkin. I think the family Halloween event is awesome here at Europa Park. There's just so much to look at all the way around. They also transform a couple of attractions for Halloween, so we'll get those in either today or tomorrow. These ones look quite happy. Well, Ida's there anyway, and this guy's like, yeah, you're too heavy for me. And this one, yeah, it's quite a dark scene going on. Looks like he's trying to stab a pumpkin. Oh, no. He's up there in the trees. <laughs> and yeah, this is a lovely Halloween display. Probably my favorite, actually. It's all the flowers they bring in just for the spooky season. Oh, it's always great getting back to this park. There's the monorail going by, one of two monorails. Josephina there as well. Yeah, I like how they put these kind of little baskets around, you know, and all the decor. So it's quite a nice scene. He's really struggling though, that one on the right hand side. So big. It is a huge pumpkin for him. He's just dangling this one off. <laughs> Very nice. I would thought we might as well ride on Josephina whilst we're here. Nice relaxing boat ride, yeah, for this year. We've got the new boats on here and look fantastic. Yeah, it's been like a two-year project to transform it from the old raft ride into Josephina. It's really nice. We like this a lot. Very pretty, relaxing. It's one of them kind of after-lunch rides, this. You've had something to eat and you just want to chill out. The sea House restaurant over there too. Beautiful building. Lots of fountains on here, and yeah, you can see the little troll characters that have got on here. I believe we're going to be seeing these featured in the rebuild of the area where the diamond mine sadly burned down earlier this year. Yeah, where you've got the log flume and the Alpen Express. Both of those are still closed at the moment. We'll be back next year. And yeah, you can see a couple of cranes working on the site down there now as well. So yeah, they're going to be coming back next year. And yeah, some new characters and some new theming as well. small dark ride scene here as well with some lights, projections and some screen media as well. So pretty. Oh 
a nice relaxing ride there on Josephina, about a 10 minute ride. Look at these down here, they're not looking too well, are they? <laughs> Love all the Halloween theming throughout the park. Everywhere you look, it feels very spooky. Look at him there, he's admiring the fountains. That's like me, nice fountain package. <laughs> Well, we've actually just been to see a show called Darkness, which is an illusion show in the Europa Park Theatre. We weren't allowed to film it, however, we had to mention it in the vlog. It is the best illusion show we've ever seen. That show is incredible. The best show I've ever seen at Europa Park. Oh, it's great. It really is. It's full of action. It's 30 minutes in length. However, there's no talking in it. It's just music. It's action. It's illusions. He does like 15 different illusions in the space of 30 minutes. Action packed. And yeah, we saw the summer version of it too. And this was a special Halloween one called Darkness. Um, yeah, it was a great show, it really was. With your over park, sometimes the shows can be hit or miss, but that was absolutely awesome. We're also gonna be watching the ice show at some point this trip, and we will be able to film that, and also the Europa Park Parade. We had to get a mention in for that. It was the speed that he was doing the illusions. It was phenomenal, I wish we could film it. I was just sat there like, how did he do that? Mind blowing, like incredible. If you come in and it's on, uh, make sure you see it. Don't worry if you haven't guessed already with Charlotte having a little hood up. It has started to rain, but luckily we've got lots of indoor rides here at this park, including Madame Fraud and Rags Curiosities just over here. So we're gonna head on this now. Cute little dinosaur ride, and there's one of them just popping out the sign. <laughs> lots of dark rides at Europa Park. And there she is. Da, 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 da. And we walk straight on. That's the great thing about this park, there's so many rides, even on a busier day like today. You just walk on some attractions, which is great. When it's cold as well, the fact they've got a lot of indoor rides, they don't often get big weights, really nice. There's an Omni Mover ride this too, so it just keeps on moving. Hopefully this dinosaur will get fixed over the winter, ready for next year. He's sleeping at the moment, he's normally an animatronic and he lifts up. Yeah, what they've done, they put this little hat on like he's asleep, he's on his pillow resting, and they put the sign there. Quite a nice way. I'm just kind of covering up the fact he's not working at the moment. shed just here now. What are these pesky dinosaurs doing? Oh, he's on the fridge. So the storyline of this old ride basically is this old lady who keeps dinosaurs in a garden and celebrates the birthday. A very strange story, but we do love this ride very much. Big improvement on how it used to be. But it's just a random kind of dinosaur ride without any backstory. Happy birthday! Oh, we really enjoy that attraction, don't we? That ride is just so fun and so quick. We have to ride it every time we come, multiple times. It's the smells in there as well, the music. We love it to bits. We've got another dart ride just here now. And yeah, this is the interactive dart ride Atlantis Adventure. So yeah, we're going to give this a go. Yeah, a few years ago, Europa Park kind of went round all the dark rides, making little enhancements, and this had some new lighting and music. Yeah, really nice to see. And of course, as you can turn it round using the joystick as well. We waited less than five minutes. I do love dark rides. I enjoy dark rides just as much as coasters. That's why I love it so much at Europa Park. You've got that nice variety. And it's only gonna get better next year with Voltron. Dark ride that 
there's lots of scenes, interactive, and you come out and you greeted with this amazing view just here as well. I got a brilliant score on there, 126,000. Oh, that's really good, that that's is. The best score I've ever got. Oh, it's because I wasn't shooting and taking up the good targets. No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> what a great view here. You got Matt Horn Blitz over there, of course, Eurosat, Silver Star, the BM Hyper, and Poseidon. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out our vlog from Traumatica, which is the horror event here at Europa Park. And uh, yeah, we was partying the night away inside Poseidon Station. It gets transformed into the Vampires Club. And yeah, it's a completely different experience to what you see in there in the daytime. Um, yeah, it's not very busy for Poseidon today with it being quite chilly. Perfect for having a ride on there, really, because you don't get that wet on here on this Mack water coaster. So yeah, we'll go and have a ride on there. Maybe do Pegasus on the way around as well. Another coaster that's hidden away actually down at the back. You can hardly see it from here. Yeah, there it is, just coming off the top of the lift hill, top left of the screen. We waited about 15 minutes for Pegasus, we're in a two train service. Yeah, you want to be down the back on this one, the front, it's a bit slower and also you don't see a lot. Look at the Pegasus itself, just down there. Stop raining now. Let's look at Poseidon. And yeah, park close is 8 p.m. tonight. So what they always do is advertise it will close a minimum of six o'clock. And then at two in the afternoon latest, they'll advertise what time it will actually be home till. So yeah, it's an eight o'clock tonight, which will mean some night rides and like a couple of hours seeing the park in the dark, which would be great. Here we go, Pegasus. Whee! Oh, got quite a kick to it this has at the back. Love this bit. Whoa! Let's drop down. It's an hour downwards. Helix, helix, helix. Hey! Oh, good family coaster. And yeah, with this ride, yes, it's got two trains, but it doesn't actually have a maintenance shed. So what it does, it's similar to the big one at Pleasure Beach. It lifts up and down in the station. And when they're only using one, it stores it underneath. Very good design. An awesome ride there on Pegasus. Yeah, good family fun. Don't think that, oh, it's just a small junior coach if you come in here and miss out. It's really good. It's down here at the back behind Poseidon. And yeah, that's our next ride. The water coaster just over here. Yeah, you don't really get too wet on here. Just a light sprinkle. So we may as well go on. Should we do Last it? This time we got soaked on this. You don't get soaked. My coat is on, my hood will be going up, and I'm ready to ride. You only get a sprinkle. A sprinkle. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. Look at these details going on over here. I've actually got this artist who's like just touching up the sign over there and making it look better. Like obviously it was a bit faded and yeah, needed painting. Yeah, fantastic. Always stuff going on here to keep the park looking as pristine as they can do. Uh, a lot of parks that would be done like over winter, the thing, oh, it's near the end of the season, we won't bother till winter. But no, like they're just doing it here. Fantastic. One minute wait for Poseidon. This is actually one of the most popular rides in the park normally. When it's chilly, it doesn't get that busy. And here we go, this the other night was the Vampires Club. Crazy how they transform it into a nightclub from a ride station. The DJ was over there in the up cabin, all the floor was blocked out and the bar was built on the air gates. And of course you got all the lighting trust still in. Let's go and ride. Love all these buildings around here. And yeah, you walk straight on. Runs plenty of boats this day. So even on a busy day, it has got high capacity. It's very popular. Oh, he squirted me. <laughs> yeah, for Halloween, they put a few props around on some of the rides, including this one. And they put a scream mask on the animatronic just over there. <laughs> Covered his cobwebs. Oh, what a view for the first lift hill here. All the mountains in the distance. And look over your Eurosat. What a park. Silver Star, definitely get on that. At some point, maybe later or tomorrow. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you ready, Charlotte? Yeah. <laughs> and it's Voltron. Oh! Woo! Oh! Oh! A bit chilly in the breeze there. We're sat on the third row though, so we should be all right. Let's see how wet we're gonna get. Oh! Woo! Ah! 
Ah, so I told you, just a little sprinkle. Look. Sprinkle. Look That's at all that. you get. Who we got to put off with the weather? I've got a poncho in my bag. Why didn't I put it on? Oh, oh you don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. 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 And that'll be only just a few short moments. Hey! <laughs> Great rides, these water coasters. They've got two of them here. Don't forget, you've got a Lanska Super Splash. That's like a Silver Star, BM Hyper Coaster. And yeah, in terms of height wise, of course, back in the UK, Hyperia is currently under construction, and Mac Rides Hyper. It's going to be the same sort of height there as Silver Star. Just like three foot taller Silver Star than Hyperia. So it gives you an idea on how tall that's going to be at Thorpe Park. When that's finished, it's going to be a massive beast. Whoa! Oh, wow! Woo! Oh. <laughs> there goes the monorail. Oh, oh only a few droplets just there. Are you okay there, Charlotte? Oh, no. What's yeah, happened? It's on the dolphin. The what? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, no. No, I'm soaked. <laughs> oh, no. He was on the dolphin. Literally, oh, you never normally get that. He's on it in the rain. I think you were right with what you said before, Charlotte, about getting soaked. I was absolutely soaked on freezing. <laughs> it wasn't the ride that got us wet, it was the guy on the dolphin there. And even on a hot day, you don't normally get that. How cruel to be on that dolphin. <laughs> you got to pay extra for it as well. Don't normally get it, but uh, yeah, we're now pretty wet from that. <laughs> More wonderful pumpkins here at Europa Park. Look at all the colours, all the variety, it's so nice. And we've dried off all right now. Not too bad, so I'll let you off. <laughs> we just had a pizza, haven't we, oh, which is lovely. Pizza's so good from here. Probably the best pizza I've ever had from here. So nice, I could have had another slice easily. It's only €4.70 for a slice as well. Beautiful. Yeah, not too bad at all, really, which is good. All right, let's continue on with our afternoon here at Europa Park. Can't believe we're getting an eight o'clock close tonight as well. We thought it was probably going to be six, but no, it's a bit busier today and it's going to be home till eight. Put so many little photo opportunities around the park. Here's another one, Halloween, hashtag Europa Park. You know, all this spooky setup. This looks like it's for a character meet and greet possibly up here. Maybe it might be Bockley in his Halloween oh, costume. I hope so. We will see him in the parade though later. Over here into Ireland now, and we'll go for a ride on the dancing dinghy. Yeah, nice rocking tug with a great soundtrack from Ima Score. Hey, on the dinghy. I'd love to get up and do an Irish jig to this, wouldn't you, Charlotte? Yeah. Give us a bit of an Irish jig on the boat. Oh, the best. I can't do an Irish uh, jig. I've got an harness on. Yeah, an harness? Yeah, that's hard. It's great. <laughs> 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 da, da, Oh yes, yeah, there's a young lady, she dances to the music. She clearly loves I'm a score as well. Yeah, that's what I like about these little flat rides, the little themed packages, and quite a lot of them have got roofs on and indoor queue lines. So when it is cooler like today, it's better really. <laughs> the great these here are rocking tugs. Way better than the Zamperla ones. Just a little karaoke round here in the park. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, I love all the random bits of street entertainment going on. Yeah, we've got some more Halloween decorations there. We've got some uh, Europa Park workers. As you can see, actually got their overalls on here. That's nice, isn't it? It's embroidered. She sell them in the shop. Yeah, the pumpkins in this area, they paint things on the face as well. Oh, look at this one here. <laughs> Doing a bit of garden. He's got quite a creepy face, hasn't he? Oh, that's a cute little elf alive with the kids behind. Yeah, when we was at Toverland last week, we said how their new ride in Avalon was kind of like an adult version of this. Well, I say adult, family. You know, adults can go on it. Looks very similar, doesn't it? Oh, it's so cute. This is still like the original though down there. Little ride for kids, oh. There's a look at the train making its way around the park. If you're not too keen on spiders, Look away now. Look at this massive spider. It's very realistic as well. Like, look at all the hairs on it. What do you think of that, Charlotte? I hate spiders so much. The smallest spider in the house. I'm like, sure, <laughs> there's a in that. Imagine if that was alive. Like, it's huge, isn't it, that? Aragog. And you got the nice toadstool wave swing over here, too. 
Yeah, as you mentioned earlier on, one was on Josephina. A lot of construction work happening here at the moment. There was that fire earlier this year that destroyed the diamond mine, which is the walkthrough, but also featured the track for the Alpen Express power coaster, and along with that, um, the Tyrrell Wild Wazaban, the log flume. Both of those will be coming back next year, and yeah, they're in the process of rebuilding that area. There's some concept art down here for what it's gonna look like. So we'll check that out in a moment. Yeah, look at these big props, they literally bring these in just for Halloween. We have some pumpkin men on bikes there. So as we can see, instead of completely rebuilding the diamond mine, it's coming back quite different. And yeah, you're gonna have the two rides still, but also looks like there's gonna be these little pathways around, some rock work, some waterfalls, some mountains over in the distance too. And yeah, uh, for the Alpen Express, looks like they're gonna do this nice kind of arched bridge, which I'm sure is gonna look wonderful. I will miss the diamond mine though. It was a nice walk through in there. Had a shop at the end and it was the smell in there too. But I am hoping there's still gonna be some little indoor areas as you kind of walk around this. I mean, it looks like the pathway kind of goes off into the side. So maybe a few smaller indoor areas instead of one big open atrium like it was before. But yeah, it was sad when it burned down. One of the older parts of the park. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this still next year. Big year for the park with this and Voltron. And here in Spain now, and the sun's actually starting to come out right on cue. See, so we've got two rides just here. Uh, we've got the Farrier Swing, which we'll do in a moment, but they actually changed that into a Halloween ride based on vampires. So we'll do that in a moment. Well, first, we'll go on Columbus just over here. We enjoy this a, a lot, don't we, Charlotte? I really like this. I like spinning around. Hey, all the lighting and effects as well. But yeah, you can see a lot of work happening on the back of the Spanish area for Austria. I believe the company Universal Rocks are here. I've done like areas like Klugheim at Fantasialand and lots of work here in the past um, on putting that area together for next year. And here we go. Christopher Columbus here in Spain. Whoa! Lots of projections are coming together today. Here she is. Hey. Yeah, I do like how you control this yourself. If you want to be on your side, you can forwards or backwards use the wheel. Normally on these rides, they're automated, aren't they? So it does add to this. Whoa! Bouncy, bouncy! Whoa! Last thing, it doesn't always need to be a big thrilling flat ride, you know, to have a good time. It's well themed, and again, it's indoors. Like, quite a lot of them have got covers over. For maintenance as well really when they're covered up. Dogs needs getting as tired and weathered. Talking of weather, I think there's a storm coming. Whee. Whee. Love the soundtrack. That was very enjoyable. That was a normal flat ride, it's a full experience. And yeah, just for Halloween, we got Flug the Vampire. And yeah, it even has a nice sign. It looks permanent, doesn't it? Yeah, it's normally called Farrier Swing. Yeah, let's go on this, it's a spooky version. Ow! That's my werewolf impression, do you like it? Get ready, we normally get some smoke on it. Oh, that was good timing, wasn't it? <laughs> smoky, smoky. It doesn't go that fast, this. It's not like ice jet or snow jet that you get back home on the uh, fun fair circuit. Oh, a family park after all. This is nice fun, this. Oh, spooky. Oh. A bit better than the normal ferrier swing. Fly of the vampire. Oy. Just all these little Halloween touches that I like around the park. And we've got the coffee cups. That changes for Halloween, so we'll check that out at some point. We've got the Halloween parade coming up soon. We're looking forward to that. Charlotte's got her arms in the air. This is just fast enough for Charlotte. Fly of the vampire. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone. Oh, it's just a nice little touch, isn't it, that they change up another one of the rides for the spooky season. I think that would be better if they did block the windows in so it was completely dark inside. Yeah, I agree, even if they didn't want like, an automatic shutter like uh, on the ride next door. Definitely. You know, it'd be good if they just blacked it out, wouldn't it really? That's what I need, it would make it a bit more better. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, here's another look at the construction taking place on that re-theme currently going on. 
here in Austria. And yeah, you can see it from Spain. That's Universal Rocks by the looks of it. Work on all this new rock structure. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be all across the back of the Spanish buildings. That's the thing at Europa Park. They're very clever at kind of identifying the different areas and also splitting them off as well. Oh, this is a nice Halloween display. Look at all these pumpkins down here. This vlog's just full of pumpkins. They've also got a little baby horse over there as well, which is quite nice. Yeah, you have the Spanish Arena horse shows in here. And they've got this large horse. Brilliant, yeah, with these, they're kind of made out of like metal or like wood. And then they put all the pumpkins on there each year. That's really nice, photo ops. Here yeah, we got a Halloween puppet show going on just over here. More great Halloween photo ops. As we make our way round here to Atlantica Super Splash. Here's the other water coast they've got here at the park. And yeah, we'll probably have a go on here tomorrow. I do like this view. It's more of a summer view though, this one. A nice hot day. Sitting here, having a cocktail, looking out over the park. Beautiful. And then you've got Woden just over there behind it too and that's our next stop they actually bring in this huge building just for halloween and christmas uh, just as somewhere extra for people to go inside and keep warm so it's a nice little touch like we walked down here and charlotte was like what's that like, what's that i've never seen that before <laughs> <laughs> well yeah they should bring it in just as an extra dining location in the warm this is one of my favorite views in the whole of europa park it's actually up here on the lighthouse in iceland and you look over whale adventures Woden Timber Coaster just over there, and of course, Blue Fire Mega Coaster over in the distance there as well. It's just a really nice viewpoint up here. You've also got the monorail off to the right there, too. Yeah, maybe have a ride on that shortly. Yeah, we're going to make our way over onto Woden in just a second. 2012 GCI Wooden Coaster. Excellent ride this is. Warms up a lot throughout the day. Uh, but also, obviously, it is quite busy here today. Operations are always really good at Europa Park, and they have got a lot of rides and to spread crowds out. However, if you want to maximize your day even more, you have got single rider on quite a few of the rides, or they have got a virtual line service, haven't they? So what it is, you should go onto the app, and you can reserve a place in the queue. Now, these do go very fast, so bear that in mind. You get a 10-minute slot, and you can scan it and go straight to the front. Yeah, it's not a paid service either. It's free of charge, and they keep it very limited, so it doesn't really affect the main queue. Uh, it's really limited. You've got a short slot to do it, and so we've literally got ours coming up in just a moment for Woden. So yeah, we're going to take you on for a ride on this GCI Beauty. And we've got a dispatch here on Woden. We're here on row number eight, a little bit further back. Look at our GCI's on this little pre drop. Great view out over Europa Park. What a skyline, it looks even better with the new coaster, Voltron. So fun to ride that next year. And yeah, you can see Kronosar and Rulantica over there in the distance as well. Rulantica being the big water park, we're not visiting there this time. But we did film a vlog in the summer, so check it out if you haven't already seen it. Let's go, Woden. Whoa. The best GCIs in the world that is oh phenomenal. This and Troy are totally one of my favourites. I do struggle to pick between the two. They're both amazing rides. 
Well, the virtual line is very efficient if you manage to get one. They are quite limited, but literally we were on within like two minutes, weren't we there? Literally straight up into the station, which was great. How was your ride? Oh, I love Woden. It's such a fantastic coaster. It really is. That ride was wild there as well, towards the back of the train. It does warm up a lot throughout the day. Definitely worth having a night ride on there as well. If you come in when the hours are extended and you've got time for it, uh, like tonight, you know, it's open till eight o'clock. Gives you like two hours to get some night rides in here, which is awesome. We're looking forward to seeing the park in the dark later. Um, yeah, Woden's amazing. It's aged so well as well. I mean, they really do look after that ride. They do the retracking that it needs and uh, it's beautifully smooth, but also it's still got that wooden coaster feel. You know, it's not too smooth either. And then transitions towards the end is ridiculous. You come into the brakes at the end and you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it blows you away that ride does incredible and uh, yeah we're gonna have a little ride on the monorail just over here now nice trip through Scandinavia you got Ford rafting down there as well rapid soaker <laughs> you can get quite well on there yeah not very busy less than five minutes all the water is pretty quiet today. Vinjama, swinging ship. All the good monorail, scenic rides, always nice. Yeah, you may have noticed in some of the clips they've already started putting up the Christmas decorations as well. So just here on the Norwegian church. Winter is a brilliant time to come. I think with us in this past 12 months, coming for all three seasons, I think winter is probably my favourite. Winter is my favourite, it's just so special. You enjoying seeing Halloween though? Yeah, it's been lovely, so many pumpkins. Oh, loads of decorations. But yeah, I think Christmas just takes it to the next level. They actually have an event that's quite weird, and I don't think I'd probably want to visit during it, called Hello Winter. And it's a time when you've got a mix between Halloween decorations and Christmas, um, like in November. I don't, it's a bit weird, I think no, that. It's, a bit weird. <laughs> it's different, but yeah. I don't think I'd want to visit during that time. I prefer sticking to the actual different seasons. We're not actually going to be coming for Christmas this year. Our annual passes actually expire in a few days. Oh, but we will be back next here for Voltron in 2024, which we're looking forward we to. Wait for that. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. We like to freshen things up. We've had a pass here this year. We probably won't have one next year, but we'll be coming out for Voltron when it opens. Looking forward to it. And of course, yeah, we might come and do winter maybe again next year, you know, and just kind of rotate things around because we're not doing it this year. Yeah, pathways are busy, but we just walked straight onto this. Lots of rides in this park to eat up the queues, which is really nice. Of course, you've got the original roller coaster restaurant, Food Loop, just inside there too. Just get quite a busy Food Loop. However, this afternoon, it seems quite quiet actually. It's hardly got a queue. When it first opens, it gets very busy. So if you do want to do it, you're probably best just going in for a snack like in the afternoon or going early for your dinner on an evening or a late lunch. We just stopped here in the Iceland station now. What we're staying on, do the full circle round. Great photo there of Silver Star. Back when it opened in 2002, because yeah, as you can see, it hasn't got the sound barrier on the drop, but it has now. Oh, great view looking out over Euromir just there. And we've got the parade coming up soon, which we're looking forward to. Project Euromir. And yeah, at some point in the near future, it's gonna be having some major work done to it. Let's hope they don't change the soundtrack. Monorail going over the monorail. <laughs> so you got two stations on this one. Luxembourg Plaza, which we've just gone through, and we've stayed on to do the full loop round. That's what we got on in Iceland. Nice little loop around England. The Globe Theatre. You know the show inside there? Yeah, they have lots of shows throughout this park. Crazy taxis just over there, the London Taxi Company. Love all the music as well, so nice. You can wave down at all the sweet corn men down there <laughs> from up here on the monorail. Head out over the water here of Josephina that we went on earlier on. <laughs> what a beautiful day. Oh, 
of his water falls down there. Fjord rafting in Scandinavia at Europa Park. Oh, we're gonna get that perfect timing here with Woden. Look at this. Oh, amazing. Love how the ride just dips and dives in and out of this part of the park. Nice ride down the monorail. And from one nice monorail ride there, to another one. We're coming on the EP Express just here now. And this takes you all the way around the park. It's also got to stop at the hotels if you are staying on site. This time we're not on site, we're just staying locally in Rust. Lots of accommodation options. We here you have got a wonderful monorail that's got various stops around the park. Oh, and there's a closer look. Over the Voltron construction site, look at the Tesla Tower up there. All the area coming together. Wow. Oh, you also get the beautiful Europa Park suite playing on here. Great soundtrack. Very cinematic and awesome as you're making your way around the park. Back over the main entrance of the park down here. You actually go through part of the queue for Volatarium from here on the EP Express as well. So Volatarium is the flying theatre. Just over there. Not a massive fan of flying theatres, but the queue line is really well themed for this one. So many attractions at this park. Love all the buildings here, the German entrance as well, all the details on there. Really charming. Oh, another lovely view over the lake down there too. Stunning. Yeah, coming up shortly, we've got the Halloween parade. Looking forward to it. And there's a look over to the Europa Park Hotel Resort. And here you've got your own station just here if you're a resort guest. You've got Balrock over there, Coliseo. And we've got videos from all the different hotels over the years here on Theme Park Worldwide. You've got Santa Isabel there on the left hand side, Castillo Alcazar, which is the tall one, and also the original hotel, Al Andalus, just here. Nice to do both of the monorails here today at Europa Park in Germany. We're having a really good time here for Halloween. And uh, yeah, we're about to go and watch the Halloween parade in just a moment. I am so excited to see Buckley in his Halloween costume. Oh, he's the little goat from the Swiss themed area. He's our favorite out of all the different mascots that you've got here at Europa Park. So we're going to watch that now. Looks like he's struggling a bit though, doesn't he? I ain't going to get anywhere with arms like that. <laughs> Coming up over the next few minutes, Europa Park Halloween parade. Let's go. <laughs> hey, here we go. A beautiful horse. <laughs> Oh, look at the big spider, look at that, all the smoke coming from it as well, awesome. <laughs> Charlotte. Da Vinci. Here he is, Buckley in his Halloween costume. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. 
show, time for the show stop. Bit of a party. Right by Bockley as well. <laughs> oh. It's Halloween. All around the world, every little boy and girl can see that all the grown ups are not having no fun. But one night every year, all your parents hide in fear when kids start taking Ooh. over all the rules to the beer. <laughs> so and dance with the monsters and their friends. I think it's the big crowd that's singing as well. <laughs> I like the song. Oh. Woo. Creepy, creepy, sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> oh, I love that show stuff. Already back on the floats. Bye, Buckley. Oh, I oh, he looks so cute. Oh, he's our favourite. Bye. <laughs> Nice as that. I love Bob Bye, Boss Coming out of the coffin there. As that your mouse. Hey. Et voilà, c'est la fin. Et voilà, allez go, on tire les mots. Oh, the awesome Europa Park Halloween parade there. It was great to see, wasn't it? Buckley stole the show. The interaction from him was so nice. Like dancing and doing like little hearts. Oh, I love it. We knew that his float stopped there from seeing it a previous day. So we thought, yeah, we're going to make sure that we try and get as close as we can. And he got all that interaction with got him. The perfect spot. Oh, he looks great in his Halloween costume as well. Like a big pumpkin. He's great. Uh, but yeah, the parade itself is fantastic. If you are watching it, make sure you kind of watch it on that main stretch by Food Loop and Euromir because they do the show stop there for like five minutes uh, and you get the extra show and interaction. If you watch it around the rest of the route, it does just go past quite quickly. So I definitely recommend watching it there. Um, yeah, all the pyrotechnics, the song was really good, wasn't oh, it? Oh, I really well? like that as we walk through the <laughs> <laughs> And also the show stop song was great as well. Uh, quite upbeat and funky. But yeah, that was spectacular. Really enjoyed it. It's cold again tonight though now. <laughs> This really is the ride that changed Mac rides 
forever. It's Blue Fire, opened in 2009. This was Mac's first ride to feature a loop. And look at this. Look how far the company's come in all these years now. From producing Blue Fire, a prototype for them at the time, and thinking, how's it gonna go? So of course, they're now creating some masterpiece roller coasters around the world, including our new tallest coaster in the UK. Hi, Pierre, we're opening at Thorpe Park next year, of course, by Mac Rides. Very exciting times for the company. I'm hoping that Hyperia has trains with lights on like this. How awesome will that look? Then we're gonna have our ride now on Blue Fire, let's go. We've managed to get another one of them virtual queues for this. So we're saving ourselves an hour wait. Beautiful Blue Fire. Oh, look at this, and from the virtual line, you get this awesome view. Looking at the launch here for Blue Fire. That's great, yeah, and they actually changed this. Virtual Geek used to be down a single rider and they wanted to reopen single rider again. So they built this new one over the top. Pretty cool. Mode two on Blue Fire. Get that walkway where we're just, just there. Wouldn't even know it was there unless you walked through it. have just started raining outside so it might be a wet ride we'll see what happens oh what's going on we got an explosion risk let's go oh we're okay Woo. it's a huge overbank what a view wow Just switched on. <laughs> that was funny timing. Literally, blue fire has just turned even more blue tonight. Hey! Woo! Whoa! Woo! The speed that you take for the elements on this coaster is fantastic. This is my favourite, of course, the final inversion. Ready for the ultimate hang time, here we go! Whoa! Throws you out of your seat! Hey! <laughs> what a ride! Onboard sound as well, and onboard lights! How is that? <laughs> Blue fire! Mega coaster! Oh, it feels really spooky tonight. Now you got all the orange lights around past the park as well. And you're like, right there on Blue Fire. That final inversion is crazy on there. Oh, it is great, especially with the lap bars. And that's the thing, Mac Rides really pushed having inversions and lap bars together. Uh, who'd have thought it all them years ago? Um, but yeah, really impressed with Blue Fire. I still really like it a lot. To look after it as well. It's their kind of uh, feature ride. That's what started it all for them in terms of um, looping coats with lap bars. And yeah, I do love Blue Fire. And now we've got Blue Faces. Oh, no. <laughs> and the Blue lights came on the ride. Your river park at night really is gorgeous. And yeah, when they extend the hours like this, you can appreciate it even more. Of course, the best time to come though to see the park at night is Christmas season. Look at Euromia at night. Oh, I think it's all the glass panels and the light shining up onto it that really makes it. As we come towards the end of our first day here at Europa Park, we are going to be filming a day two vlog. So stay tuned for that coming up tomorrow here on our YouTube channel. Like we said earlier, if you haven't already, check out our vlog from Traumatica, the horror event. We've got more family Halloween fun coming up tomorrow, though. That we're looking forward to. It's going to get some more footage tonight at the park in the dark. Back down the very spooky street just here with all the ghosts and the balloons <laughs> and lots of orange lights. Well, we've got a 15-minute wait for Matterhorn Blitz this evening. So, yeah, this is going to be one of our final rides of the day. Night ride on here, let's go. I don't even think it's 15 minutes looking through the windows. So we just come up the vertical lift hill and we're off on Matterhorn Blitz at night. Beside her, no, I bet there's not anybody riding that now. Oh, there's a couple. Look at yours at. Whoa! Whoa! Bit of M, the one that we did at uh, Legoland Deutschland the other day. Check out the vlog if you haven't seen it, but that was trimmed a lot. <laughs> this one ain't. Woo! Look how spooky that looks there. Fantastic. Oh! 
Oh, yeah, it's just starting to rain. Last part of the night now. But we got a good extension tonight. Two hours. Woo! Yeah. Whoa! Matterhorn Blitz. Hey! Oh, God. It's starting to come down now. Oh! Woo! Drop it to big. <laughs> they feel bigger on a ride, though, don't they? Oh! Oh, blimey. I thought we were coming off then. Oh! Oh, it's so much fun. Oh! I am wet now. Oh, Matterhorn Blitz. What a ride. We had a really fun ride there on Matterhorn Blitz and it's typical that it just started raining because it stopped again now. And yeah, Matterhorn Blitz, really good fun coaster. Oh, I love that, but those raindrops felt massive. <laughs> they always do when you're on a coaster though, don't they? Stopped. If you're on something like a Silver Star, then yeah, it really hurts, yeah, it your, hurts face. your face. Or like a launch coaster. <laughs> we also just made the most of the single rider queue. Another ride on uh, Can Can Coaster just here. Waited five minutes in single rider. And doesn't it look lovely here at night? Oh, I do love the French themed area here, it is wonderful. All the facades, of course the big signature ride you're us at, and then yeah, all the water down here at the bottom. And yeah, I said earlier in the vlog that I miss the big pumpkin. At least they do light it up at night in red. However, what I'd take to the next level would be some projection mapping, and the fact they actually install it in a few weeks' time for Christmas, they could do with putting that up early, and then on these nights when they extend, they could project the pumpkin onto there. I think that'd look really nice. And we're ending our day here at Europa Park with a night ride on Euro Tower. We normally always do it in the daytime, so I thought we may as well make the most of these extended hours. Looking all over the park at night, there's Euro Tower. Silver Star over there, we've not been on it today, but we'll definitely do Silver Star tomorrow. One of the best rides at the park, the B&M Hyper. Oh, <laughs> it always bumps a little bit when you get to the top. A look down there over Italy, all lit up at night. Wow, it is incredible. A look out over Rust there, and in the distance you can just see Kronosal and also Rulantica. Yeah, Kronosal already decorated for Christmas by the looks of it. Lights are on. Island down there. You can see Balrock's lighthouse over in the distance. And look all the way across Europa Park. Look at Blue Fire there as well. Phenomenal. Always looks great at night, and so does Euromir too. I can't wait to see Voltron. How they light that up in 2024. Lovely relaxing ride there on the Euro Tower to end our day here at Europa Park during Halloween 2023. And we're making our way out here of the German Alley, all lit up, which looks amazing. Oh, look at all the lights on the buildings. So awesome, it really is. And of course, you got all the strobes as well. It's not great. Charlotte's loving the Halloween music just there. <laughs> as it brings us to the end of our day here at Europa Park for Halloween 23. Have you had a good day? Oh, we've had a fantastic day today. It's been so great seeing so many pumpkins around the park. The decorations are amazing. It really is nice as walking around. You're feeling that Halloween mood in all the areas of the park, which is great. Whether it's rethemed rides for the events, uh, some music to shows, there's something going on everywhere. And even Eurosat, all this up there does look fantastic. Really enjoyed seeing the park at night. Cheeky two hour extension tonight. As oh, well. I cannot complain about that at all. It has been quite busy, but you've seen how many attractions we've done, including a few re-rides as well. And we took it quite chilled out. We've been here loads, we've been annual pass holders uh, for the past year. So, you know, we've been a lot, so we can just take it a bit more chilled out. But we've done so many rides. And uh, yeah, Woden was probably my favourite today. That was riding great. I love Woden, but this just does show, if you are coming in, it's busy, how much you can get in in one day. There's so many filler attractions here, whether that's dark rides, water rides, flat rides, away from the big coasters. Uh, you've always got stuff to do, which is fantastic and uh, yeah I really enjoyed the illusion show today um, that was awesome anyway we're gonna be back tomorrow for day two we got more rides to go on we're gonna be able to film the Halloween ice show tomorrow vampire circus and along with that check out more of the rides uh, more of the entertainment and the spooky ambience here at Germany's largest theme park we're here on theme park worldwide that leaves with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you tomorrow <laughs>